I secure the cookies. Uh huh. You know it smells good. Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. That was weird to say hello. Hi everybody. Welcome if you're new. It is another Crumble Monday. Got my little special guests here with me. Um. I thought I'd start this video out a little different and open it with you guys. I haven't looked at it, so I don't even know what they look like yet. So we are going to look together. Ooh. Let's see. I'm going to try to do it without him wanting to eat them. Look at them. I'm so excited. I do have a tray, so I'm kind of like wondering if I should try that out. Um... I don't know. I got the tray. So let's just get started. It's kind of a little wonky wonky. I don't, this is like new for me to figure it out. Um, let's see, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start, I obviously have the basic. I think I'm gonna start right here in the middle with the Nilla Bean Cupcake. Ooh, this is served warm. Vanilla bean cupcake, a deliciously cakey vanilla bean cookie with creamy vanilla cream cheese frosting and a dash of white sprinkles. Now I feel like the lighting kind of changed a little bit. I'll lean forward. It smells good. Um, I'm mainly getting A very fresh, buttery sugar cookie. And then the frosting is like a light cream cheese taste. I don't really taste much cream cheese. Very light cream cheese taste, which I'm not mad about. To me, I guess it kind of tastes like a, just a basic, a very, very basic standard vanilla cupcake. Um, I'm curious what it would taste like with like a buttercream frosting because like a cupcake, you know? I feel like because most cupcakes don't have cream cheese frosting. But it's good though because I'm not getting a strong like cream cheese taste. I'm getting more of like a vanilla um, frosting taste and it tastes really good. It's definitely a very basic cookie if you like the basics. Um, would I get it again? Probably not just because it's basic and I'd probably rather get these a little bit more I'm not gonna lie but it's good it's a very good cookie I am just I was hoping for a little bit more I kind of thought this was gonna be my least favorite I was just kind of hoping for it to be a little more cream cheesy taste in the frosting could just be like my location like I always say like I always like to say that because obviously there's always gonna be good batches bad batches there's always gonna be locations that maybe are a little busier like so I always like to say that because Yours could be completely different. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of, I feel like I need to think of what it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. You know like the vanilla cupcakes you get from like stores? They usually have like the vanilla and the chocolate on it. Kind of reminds me of like a vanilla one. But obviously with a different frosting because this is supposed to be like a little cream cheese one. I think I like that just for the fact that it kind of balances the sugar. Like the sweetness because obviously cream cheese is a little less, like it's not sweet. So that's good. I do give my 1 through 10 ratings at the end, um, and I just tell you as I eat them, like, what I think they taste like. So, we're going to move on. We are going to move on to probably the one I should do last, but I want to do it next. <laughs> this is the cornbread. It is served warm. A classic cornbread cookie smothered with honey butter glazed on top of the dot, a thick honey buttercream frosting, and a decorative drizzle of honey. Really smells like honey. Um, I don't think I'm gonna end up getting the. Mmm. I love honey. Okay. Mmm. What?
Okay. That. They've had this cookie before. But this is the best I've had it. This actually tastes like you're eating cornbread. But in cookie form, like a little more crisp to it. And the honey is like a perfect touch. I've never had cornbread with honey before. Except for like crumble cookies. And that is good. I would 100% get that again. And that buttercream. Has a honey taste. That Was it a honey glaze? I don't even know what I said now. <laughs> this always happens. I always forget what I said. Yeah, honey buttercream. On point with the honey buttercream. That's actually good. It's like a... That's very, very good buttercream. If you don't like honey, would not get it at all. And if you don't like cornbread, definitely wouldn't get it either. Because that is like spot on. It tastes like I just got like a Dunkin' Donuts cornbread muffin. But ten times better. Because obviously Dunkin's a little more like fast food. Like this is, I don't is this classified as fast food? I don't know. Um, this is just so much fresher. Tastes more homemade. Um... It has that little crisp just on the outside. Very good. I would get that again. Very, very good. Now we're going to move on. I guess we'll move on to this one. We are going to do... Ooh. How does it smell like... Oatmeal. <laughs> we are going to do the strawberry crumb cake. It is served warm. Crumbly fruity treat, a buttery strawberry cookie top with a strawberry vanilla streusel and a sweet milky glaze. Smells good. Whoa. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that but there is white chocolate chips in there too. That's good. Mm. That's, mm. That's very good. Mm-hmm. I feel like they've also done something similar to this before. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I need a glass of milk. I don't have one. At first, I got like an oaty taste. And then, like, I started to taste like, you know, like the strawberry Pop-Tart taste. Kind of like that. And then, the more I ate it, it tastes like mm. white chocolate chips, perfect touch. Perfect. Oh, I'm just gonna keep eating this. And it tastes like the strawberry shortcake ice cream bars, but like if you were to stuff that in a cookie. <laughs> that's exactly how it is. And that's good. I would get that one, yeah. Okay. I would get that again. Oh, I forgot to take a picture of that. Oops. Oh, well. That's so good. Kind of also has like a little bit of a muffiny texture almost. No, uh, actually, no. It has a cookie texture for the cookie itself. But it's reminding me of like a muffin because of the crumbs and the crumble and like, you know, like crumb cake and stuff. Just reminds me of that. But that's good. Oh, yes. Guys, those next two are good. Now, lastly. Ooh. <laughs> he smells the peanut butter. He loves some peanut butter. So he's like, mm. Woke up perfect time. We are doing the. I'm gonna close that for a second. <laughs> We're doing a peanut butter and jelly. It's served chilled. 
a rich peanut butter cookie top with thick peanut butter mousse and a tart raspberry jam. It smells like peanut butter. I'm a little disappointed with that one, I'm not gonna lie. It's good, but not my favorite. Like, the peanut butter kind of tastes, the cookie itself tastes really good. The peanut butter cookie, good. The mousse, peanut butter mousse, tastes kind of like bakery peanut butter mousse, like peanut butter flavoring. As if you were to go to bakery, and I'm not a fan of like bakeries, I don't know why, but I feel like bakeries all have the same taste with things. Let me know if you I, if I'm like the only one that thinks that, but I do really feel like bakeries all have like the same taste to like their cupcakes, the same taste to like their flavoring. And I'm not a big mousse person. I'm not gonna lie. I do like chocolate mousse more, but like any other flavored mousse, I'm not really a fan of. It's definitely airy and light, but it's almost like too much peanut butter with the mousse and the cookie that I would have I think wanted their peanut butter cookie because they do amazing with their peanut butter cookie bases stuffed with peanut butter like actual peanut butter and then jam on top that's what i think that you should have done and maybe put like a few little peanuts like actual peanuts on top of the jam and it is raspberry jam i don't know did i mention that yeah um so i'm a little disappointed in that one not gonna lie but it's good I thought that was gonna be my favorite, to be honest. But it is a little too much peanut butter for me. Not gonna lie, I'm not a big peanut butter person. I have to be in the mood for peanut butter. I just said not gonna lie probably about 15 times and just for this cookie. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie. I'm trying to think what, I, like the cook, their peanut butter cookie to me always tastes like a fresh homemade nutter butter almost. But then that mousse kind of just like takes away from the cookie a little bit for me. But then I am getting like peanut butter and jelly as if I'm eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich. That's kind of what it tastes like actually. It tastes like I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like the mousse kind of like, I don't even know. But it is refreshing. The jam is very refreshing. But I need to have another bite of the strawberry shortcake one to end on that flavor. Mmm. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna jump right in. Because I don't really know how to describe that peanut butter one, so I apologize. Because it's not my favorite. Um First place, strawberry shortcake. Is that what they're called? I'm getting the names mixed up now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, strawberry crumb cake. <gasps> I even said it tastes like crumb cake. <clears throat> so first place, strawberry crumb cake. I would give that a nine out of ten. Cornbread, second place. I would give that very, very good. Eight point nine out of ten. Very, very good. Those are very close. Um, third place, I'm gonna give to the what did they call it? Nilla Bean cupcake. That I'm gonna give. It's good, but basic. I'm gonna give it like a six point five out of ten. Maybe six. Six, yeah, six. We'll give it a six. Six out of ten. And fourth place, the peanut butter and jelly. And I'm unfortunately going to give that like a four out of ten. But that's just because of me. I'm not a big peanut butter person. I'm the mousse. It was just too much for me. Personally. Um, yeah. I'm so excited for the new year. I have so many video ideas. Again, you can always keep commenting some video ideas because I'll always add them to my list. I have like a big list of um, video ideas that I have that I want to film. And I will always do Crumble Mondays every single week. So if you enjoy these videos, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you try these and what you like and what you think. If you don't, go get them. That's okay. Let me know when you think you would like the best. Um, so you can still comment and interact. And subscribe for more Crumble Mondays. Subscribe for more videos that are going to come up. Um, I feel like there's something else I'm missing to say that I wanted to say. 
Oh, and thank you everybody for almost getting me to 200 followers, subscribers. I am so excited. I'm so happy. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. I always reply to you guys in the comments below. Alrighty, I hope you guys have a fantastic, like, new year. Whatever you start doing for the new year. Um, and always remember to be kind to yourself. I know, like, the new year people put pressure on themselves for new year, new me. Don't put pressure on yourself. Okay? It's not worth it. <laughs> um, kind to yourself. Set goals. Set little goals and work up to bigger goals. Have a new year, like a great 2023. I'm obviously going to be talking to you guys again in these videos. But a great 2023. And it brings you happiness and blessings and all great things. Because you all deserve it. And remember, I'm here. Always here. You can always comment down below. Whatever. And you're not alone. And smile. Always smile. And it's also okay to cry if you need to. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.